Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Revive Me here, and today I'm going to show you how to get the new updated SPSX2 emulator on your Xbox. Alright, so we're going to go straight into it. So you need to go to your Microsoft Edge browser on your Xbox. So open that. Now type in this URL link on your browser. Um, I'll put it in the description below, just in case. And then once you do that, you should see this page. Click download app. Now click open, it should take you to the Microsoft Store, and you should see this page that says App Store. Click install, and then after that, click launch. Now once you launched it, you should see all this on the screen, and at the bottom, you should see the emulators. One for Xbox One, and one for Series X and S. Since I'm on the Series X, I'm going to click this one. Click install, it should take you back to the Microsoft Store. Now click install, it should take about 10 seconds, and then launch. Now that we've launched it, we confirm that it's working. Yes, sir. Now we're going to go onto the computer. Plug in your USB. Because first of all, we need to make sure you have everything formatted. Now for this, since you're not running in dev mode, you have to format it to NTFS. 100%. Anytime I try to do XFAT or FAT32, I couldn't get it to run without dev mode. Like, so if you're not in dev mode, NTFS. So if you don't know how to format already, just look through your USB drive, press the right click it, go up, and above eject, it should say format. So click on that. And then for the file system, if it's NTFS, you're golden. You can for reformat it anyway if you want to, if you want to delete everything you got on it. But if, uh, if it's anything else, just click on NTFS and just click start. And since mine's already there, I'm not going to do it. Another tip is I recommend that if you're going to be doing this and you're going to be using an external hard drive or USB, use a 3.0. It'll help so much more in the long run. I think it helps with my performance with my games as well. So keep that in mind. So now that we're here, uh, in the description, I will have the BIOS folders. And uh, the link should bring you to a web page like this. So say PCSX2. Um, at the top right, you can click download. Click save. And then obviously I already have multiple ones. But once you do that, go to the destination where you downloaded it to. Mine was on the desktop. I'm going to extract it. Extract to. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. All right, once you extract it, you should get a folder that says PCSX2. And when you open it, you should get two folders inside of it that says BIOS, which contains all the BIOS files, and a folder that says Games. If you already have a Games folder and ROM in a Games folder, you don't need to drag this into it, but you do need to drag this BIOS folder. So what you would do is, uh, with your storage device, you would just drag BIOS folder right into it. I'm going to just replace them because they're the same files anyway. But just to show you that it literally takes like no time. And once you do that, let's go right back to the Xbox. All right, now that we open SPSX2, go down to settings, click left bumper twice. We're going to go to BIOS, click A. All right, now we're going to go to down the parent directory, click A until you get these three options. The first two, just leave alone. The last one should be where your storage device is. So click A, go down to BIOS, and then go down to use this directory. And just like that, we got the BIOS out the way. Now that we did the BIOS, we're going to press the right bumper three times. We're going to go to add search directory from the games list. Go down to parent directory, click it until you get the last three options. Go to your storage device, go to your games folder, use this directory. And just like that, you added your BIOS and you added your game directory. And just like that, you should be good. You should be able to run the emulator. I'm going to test it out right now. So my games list, I'm going to do what I got to get you to. So far, it's running good. Clean, 59.94 FPS. Okay. Everything's sounding good so far.
Dragon Ball Z awesome. And just like that, you installed SPX2 on your Xbox. I will be adding other video links in the description of how to get the two-player co-op working, how to get cover arts, and my settings configuration for playing upscaled, more HD, and full screen. And yeah, man, I hope this helped. If it did, please hit that subscribe and like, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.